England versus India. Joe Root makes masterful century at Lords. England captain Joe Root made a second masterful century in the space of a week. But the second test is deliciously poised after India's resurgence late on day three. Just like Last Saturday at Trent Bridge, Rude imperiously carried the home side, this time batting, though a Sankey's day for an unbeaten 180 at Lords. He was supported by Johnny Bairstow, whose 57 was his first test half century for two years, while Moeen Ali and Joss Butler chipped in with 27 and 23 respectively. Just as England looked set for a healthy first innings lead, Ishant Sharma removed Moeen and Sam Curran in successive deliveries. The hosts were eventually bowled out of for 391 and an advantage of 27 of the final ball of a compelling entertaining day. The direction of the match will now be shaped by India's second innings with the tourists set to bat again on a pitch that remains slow and flat albeit with the occasional hint of low bounds. England were fragile in the drawn first test and in a vulnerable position when India reached 276 for three on the first day here but have fought back through the two all-time greats in their side Root and James Anderson, just like when Anderson returned 562 on Friday, there are not many superlatives left for Root, who is producing the sort of batting that few in the history of the English game have been capable of. From 10 tests, this was his fifth century of 2021. He was only denied the opportunity to become the first England player to make three double hundreds in a year because he ran out of partners. From 48 not out overnight, there seemed an inevitably that route to take advantage of ideal batting conditions when he drove to the point boundary in the second over of the day. Barely a run was scored down the ground. Instead, it was offside drives and punches of front and back foot. Delicate dabs to third man with whips and flicks of the pads. He was never bogged down, hustling between the wickets as if his life depended on it. In a repeat of last week, Ruth celebrated this 100, his 22nd in animated and emotional fashion, punching the air and howling to the heavens. There was plenty more to come, including an audacious scoop of the pace of Muhammad Shiraz, Root remaining untouchable and soaking up the applause as the last man standing. While Root was left to play a virtual lone hand at Trent Bridge, the support he received from the middle order here not only helped England back into this match, but may bode well for the future. Bairstow has endured a difficult two-year period in which he has lost the wicket-keeping gloves, been dropped, recalled, rested and shunted round the order. He showed glimpses in Nottingham and went further here, scoring freely in the first hour, although he was able to reach his first 50 since the 2019 Ashes test on this ground. The disappointment is that he was put pulling for the second time in a week, this time gloving Shiraz to sleep. Butler has looked out of touch, but was feeling his way until he was bowled through the gate. While the recalled Moin's judgment was excellent before he edged to first slip. Mark Wood helped England into the lead, only to be run out in a mix-up route's only mistake. While last man Anderson bravely came through being hit on the helmet by Jasprit Bumba during a barrage of short pitch bowling before being cleaned up by Mohammed. Shami. This was an energy sapping day for the India attack, who overcame the heat and the pitch to beat the bat with regularity. They might rule the decision to meet of spinner Ravi Sandro 
Ashwin, old age was the man who was preferred. Baseball Ash Ishant, who sparked the late fight back. After Ishant snared Moin, Kuren edged his first ball to second slip when Oli Robinson was LBW. England had lost three wickets for 16 runs. In truth, India's openers were probably relieved to be spared an examination with the new ball on Saturday evening, but it is the tourists who will be under more pressure when his fascinating contest resumes on Sunday. This sport news from BBC. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.